There are two reasons for changing the way this garage looks. One is practical and the other is cosmetic. Poorly installed siding around the doors had allowed water to find its way behind the vinyl. Removing the vinyl siding reveals the damaged oriented strand board. Luckily, the rot had not spread to the framework. Cutting out the rot and replacing with new material solved one problem. But how to keep this from happening again? Maybe a small overhang that would direct water away from the garage doors rather than into and behind them? It would solve the moisture problem and improve the appearance. These two pieces of scrap will serve as a template for the side profile of the overhang. The angle of the slope will be matched by cutting the 2x4s with my table saw. The test piece confirms the fit. The supporting ribs are mostly marked to be 24 inches apart on center. Some are later adjusted so that LED can lights can be installed above the doors for a dramatic lighting effect. Three inch wood screws ensure that the many pieces will stay together even with the material's expansion and contraction throughout the seasons. I actually made the overhanging frame before removing the siding, so this part is a little out of sequence. But the OSB has been repaired and the bare wood covered with house wraps so the frame can now be installed. <gasps> Making the frame in two sections allows me to do this by myself. 6 inch lag bolts through the header above the door hold the structure securely. I'll add outside brackets later that will give further support and a stylish element as well. The back edge of the plywood is cut at a matching angle to the roof slope. The front edge will be trimmed flush later using a circular saw. That's it for part one. Shingles, trim work, wiring for the can lights, and making the ornamental brackets will come next. Thanks for watching.